The U.S. women's soccer team. Millions of little girls dream to be just like them, but not every girl can. For one Bellevue teen, playing soccer was hard. As an observant Muslim, some of her beliefs conflicted with the soccer rules and regulations. So, she decided to help create a soccer camp specifically for other Muslim girls. Radioactive's Aisha Mohammed dives deep into this story. On this sunny day, girls of all ages are doing laps around the field. They're kicking soccer balls, they're running drills, living their best lives. Some of the girls wear headscarves, others wear dresses. On this field, there is no dress code. This type of camp wasn't around when my friend Noor Amr started playing soccer. Noor's always been obsessed with soccer. She started playing in middle school, but there were some problems there were challenges as in altering the uniform to like suit religious practices. Noor is a practicing Muslim and for her covering her head and staying modest is a part of that. So what Noor wears looks a little different than the usual uniform. It will be like knee length up till the knees and it'll be hard to get like a uniform another uniform on top because it's loose fitted and it'll be like kind of uncomfortable. Noor wanted to wear clothes that fit her identity and how she practiced her religion, but her coach wanted her to wear the team uniform, a jersey with shorts underneath. Noor was not okay with that. And so for me, my mom, it was important for me to always wear a dress, like uh, clothes that were like beneath the knees. And that was hard because you had to like wear a uniform shirt on top and then like clothes up till the knees. The soccer uniform also had a number on the back. Noor wasn't allowed to cover it with her hijab, the traditional headscarf. So she had to tuck her hijab into her jersey. This was really uncomfortable for Noor because that's just not how she wore her hijab. After that, Noor went on to try for an elite soccer team. Only the best can get on that team. So basically, you like get recommended to play for that team. There's two tryouts, and for me, what was um, a little harder about each tryout was that it was during Ramadan. Nor was fasting. That means no eating, no drinking, from sunrise to sunset. It was really a big struggle to get through tryouts because it was two hours of hardcore running and training. But guess what? Nor got in. But then another issue arose. Nor's clothing was an issue for this coach as well. They allowed us to wear a shirt underneath their uniform, but they didn't allow us to wear dresses and well not even a dress but like you know long shirt and that was a problem. Noor felt really uncomfortable. She made the hard choice to quit the team but Noor didn't give up soccer and she wanted to make sure that other observant Muslims didn't give up either. So she and a bunch of her friends including me created a soccer camp specifically for Muslim girls. I saw these two hands up first. Okay, you guys, you guys are I wanted to be able to help other girls play soccer freely with, you know, whatever accommodations they needed. Um, anyone's able to, like, practice and play however they are. There's no special uniforms or, like, special anything. They can, I don't want them to have, like, the same experiences that I did. This camp has been running for three years and has remained as a safe space for Muslim girls to just be themselves. And that's the way Noor wants it. Just keep on doing you. They're just People are going to have to get, just get used to you. And yeah, you just got to keep on doing you. Don't change yourself for other people. For Radioactive, this is Aisha Muhammad.